All right, hello everyone. I'm Philip. I work on the engineering team here at Chroma. Thanks for coming to our office. Uh, today I'm going to do some vibe coding demonstrations for you uh, about my dog. So I always look at my dog and wonder what he's thinking about. Someone told me once when he was sleeping, he's probably dreaming about you. So I always wonder like, what's actually on my dog's mind. And so I thought maybe for vibe coding night, it might be fun to build a GPT of my dog, Queso. So that's what we're going to do tonight. So the thing is that he's a dog. He can't type. He can't talk. So how does he communicate? And I think it'd be fun to see him communicate through his memories, which we have as photos. So we're going to build a way to talk with my dog and get memories out as photos. So the way you classically do something like this is you would have your user contacts and an LLM would respond with text. Um, and as you start to deal with photos, you have like a lot of information there. And as I was looking through all the photos of my dog, I couldn't just fit all the photos of him into a chat context. So that's where Chroma comes in. Uh, surprise, we work at Chroma here. And uh, Chroma is an AI application database. So it's vector search and full text search. And you can use it to power AI applications that need retrieval. Uh, some people call it RAG, if you've heard of that. But we just call it retrieval. And that's when you need to dynamically insert information into a context and use it in your AI applications. So the way I went about it is I took a dump of like 50 photos of my dog, and I had OpenAI go through and write captions for every single one and put them into a Chroma database. And then when you ask for a message from my dog, what it does is it goes and retrieves some related messages from Chroma. So it's set up as a tool within uh, the LLM, and so it can access it and search it. And then it does some re-ranking based on the results to pick one of the photos to send you. So that's what we built. So um, I one-shotted this entire thing in Codex today. So it really wasn't too difficult of a project. But I do a lot of AI-based coding here at Chroma. I did like a 6,000 line pull request yesterday that was uh, primarily written by Cursor. So I went through and wrote like a really clear description of what we wanted. I said we're making a chat app. We already have a Next.js repo with some packages installed. Here's how to use Chroma. We need two things. One, we need you to take images and put them into Chroma. And then two, we need you to be able to respond with images when I ask a question. And so that's what we built. And so I set Codex off. And about 10 minutes later, we had an app. And it said, enjoy chatting with Queso. So now we get to chat with my dog. Before we test it out, digging in a little under the hood, one of the things it did is it went through and generated captions for each photo and put them all in Chroma. So has anyone here used Chroma before? Some people? Yeah. So it's known as an open source uh, AI application database. And so a lot of people have used it in Python and Docker, things like that. And this is a sneak peek of a cloud product that we're working on for Chroma. It's really cool because it's serverless and so stores uh, your data on S3, and so it has really low storage costs. If you want to put a lot of data into it, it'll cross a lot of collections. So I put a lot of captions about my dog in here, and we can go in and explore and search, like, what are things that have to do with a couch? And there's six posts that have a couch mentioned. We can also run semantic search, like cozy, and find images. So this was image six, it is apparently the coziest image. I think that's pretty cozy. So that's what's powering our AI search here. And it's using these descriptions that O3 wrote here. So as the white fluffy dog, or fl I nestle my nose into my beloved yellow duck toy, feel a surge of joy and contentment. So that's what we're working with here that's powering <laughs> our search. So coming back to it, let's uh, try out chatting with my dog. So this is a one shot within uh, code X. You can scan the QR code if you want to try chatting with it, but we can ask here. Let's see. Give it my microphone. What did you do on this sunny day? Oh, yeah. Looks like he enjoyed the sun today. What would you have done if there was lightning? Hidden under the couch. That seems about right. Um, what do you want to drink tonight? Oh, OK. I guess he's in a drinking mood. <laughs> uh, so this is live. If you want to scan a QR code and play around with it. 
And it's a pretty cool demonstration of semantic search and retrieval-based AI applications because there's a lot of complexity under the hood. There's a dozens of images that went through. And using Chroma, we can get really context-efficient and quick results out of this. So try it out if you want and try chatting with my dog.